Today we have something a little bit different, but not really much different. This is a bimpy map. That's probably not how you say it. This is a South Korean dish. Take a look at that here. This is an Amazon purchase. And I thought this would be interesting for you guys to actually be able to buy something we're doing. Anymore, all the stuff we do, you can't buy. And this was $19 for this. You can probably find it. I don't know. That's just like the going rate. Actually, from South Korea. This is uh, the Pyeongchang Farm Natural Foods. So this is like a survival camp food. All you need is hot water for this. Uh, obviously, we're doing a controlled environment, but uh, you get the idea. So let's open it up. Amazon ravaged the box in this bad boy. And we'll let Philip kind of get in here and show. It's got some instructions on the back how to fix it. That kind of business. And this is for two servings. So I guess two people. And just like a little pouch, a little packet of stuff, right? Let's pull it out of here. Let's take a look. And we'll keep this up here. What they did, I ordered a case of that Stevia or Zevia soda, and they put the box in the case, like all together. It just ravaged the box, but it did not hurt the contents. So first up, we have our rice. And this is going to be our main staple here. This is the biggest thing. We need to uh, simmer this in hot water for 30 minutes. Depends on how you like your rice. There's not very much of it in there. Whether it takes 30 minutes, it's like that's an awful long damn time um, for that. But we'll do it how you're supposed to do it. We're going to dump it in a pot. We're going to cover it where it's just covered with water. And that's it. Uh, so we'll come back to that. Next up we have, and this was an interesting one, we have our king oyster mushrooms. And they're all dehydrated. All right. We have, on this one is our uh, radish leaves. You can see here on the back of it, I'll flip them both around for you. It's actually looking pretty decent. Next up we have our Snowflower Namul. Probably not how you say that either, but that's how we're going to say it, right? This one has a solid back to it. This one is the CHWI Namul, the Chewy Namul, and uh, this is a Pyeongchang Hangi, H-A-N-G-G-I. So there's that. So this is all going to go together. So let's get our hot play out. We have a stove top right behind me, but the lighting's not right quite to do that. Let's get the hot plate here. We'll get a small pan with a lid. We're going to put some water in it, and we're going to start with the rice. Now the instructions are to put the rice. Let me read it again here. Step one, wash rice and put it in water for 30 minutes. Okay. Um... Put the rice with water level, which is high as the rice first. That's some interesting instructions. Put hangi namul, one pack, on the rice. Add a bit of salt. We've got our salt grinder right here. And add a bit of one teaspoon of perilla oil. Don't have that. Or sesame oil. Don't have that. And cook. First of all, we're going to put in two cups of water, which is one bottle of water. You got some fuzzy math on the old instructions here on the package because the English instructions and the Korean instructions were not, they had nothing to do with each other at all. Two cups of water to one cup of rice, which should be pretty standard. We have some uh, basmatic, basmati rice, white rice. This may not be the kind of rice that you guys say is the right kind, but it's the only kind we got, right? We had this and we had this regular long grain. I'll put just a tiny bit short of that. And then we're going to go and turn this bad boy here on. And we're going to dump the rice in here. So the instructions on the rice, they cook for 10, 10 to 15 minutes. And we're told rice is tender. Uh, now, we have a little debate. It doesn't say. It says dump all the stuff in at the end after the rice is already cooked. There's going to be no water in it. Um, but I do think if we dump it in now, it's going to make it all nasty. So one thing we do need to do is a little bit of that. We'll get us a spoon here, give her a little mixy mix, and we'll get that where it's good and hot. Now, I'm not a big rice guy. And I do know what we just did is probably incorrect. It should have been boiling first. That's right. We've got enough power here. We can boil it just in seconds. And we should have been boiling and then put it in. Yep. 
hey, it is what it is, right? It should be totally fine. That should boil just in, within a minute on this stove and it will turn it down. Okay, so the rice is 99% done. And when we flipped it on, it boiled the water in like no time at all. We'll turn it down to one. Let's go ahead and dump in our Pyeongchang hangi. And this stuff looks and smells like tea. You see here. That's a lot. Next up is going to be our radish leaves. Oh, it smells like farts. What Phil smell at? It is like a, a like a pungent like kind of cabbage smell. kind of smell to it. That's how they look, just like that. Next up is our uh, snowflower namuli. Dirty old snow flowers. It smells like tea. Next up, that's a lot of stuff in there, man. Next up is our Chiwi CHWI Namol. Okay. And last but not least is our King Oyster Shelf Mushrooms. Okay, get her a spoon. Let's give her a good mix here and see what we got. The rice is starting to stick, I'm gonna turn that off. Just way too much. You can see quickly that it uh, looks like it was way too much green stuff for the rice. You see, it actually was not Jesus. I'll tell you what this needs. Oh my God, getting everywhere. It needs a little bit more water. We don't have any down here, so we're gonna put Mountain Dew in it. <laughs> Joking. Okay, let me grab a little more water, we add a little to it. And we may have to season it a little better. I wanna add a little bit more water to this because it's definitely pretty dry. Just the same way you do it, you know, you get the little military packs of this stuff and they're different flavors. These are red or green. You keep adding water to it, adding water to it. So we're gonna do the same thing with this. Now, was that enough salt that I put in it? I'm gonna make an executive decision and say, hell no, it wasn't. I'll keep mixing this up till it's not drywall paste. Think about doing MREs, it got pretty fluent in uh, how to add water to stuff, like what consistency you want. Okay, so we're pretty moist now. We'll probably need another splash yet. Because as it sets, that rice can keep soaking it up. Okay, so. Can you get a shot of that? I don't think you see down there, not the camera. There's an end result. Now, we'll dish fill up a little, a little bit of this out here. Probably got a bigger spoon somewhere, but we're not gonna worry about large amounts though, because this might be interesting for sure. Oh, there you go, sir, you beeping map. Yep, thank you. <laughs> and then, now, are we gonna have to just pour the salt to it? I think probably so. What do you think? I don't know. He's looking at me like, try this and if you fall over dead, I don't have to. It smells very green, very tea leaf. What do you think about that? It needs more salt. No, there's no doubt about that. Well, grind it up. 
the the greenness of it is kind of something's very chewy. Well, you can have a little bit of that until it sits up a little bit. The sauce where it's at. I tell you what, there's a little bit of pepper. I feel like that or not. Okay. The salt is what I needed. And I can see why they say add a little bit of sesame oil. We just don't have any. If you like sesame oil. Uh, any kind of seasoning like that. Yeah, the salt really brings out a lot in all the ingredients. The mushrooms are very chewy in it. Very chewy. As yeah. it sets up a little bit, that'll fix that self. That'll fix itself though. The greens. It's almost like the taste of tea leaves in it. Like a tea leaf kind of taste to it a little bit. I guess. Hmm. All right. So, how much is left in it? I took a fair amount out. So, is it two helpings? Hell no, it's not two helpings. What kind of... That's a lot of two helpings. That's probably five or six helpings, I would say. What's your thoughts on it? I think it's okay. I'm not much on... Whatever ingredients they were, and they're just kind of chewy. There was like a stem, a lot of stems. The thing is, it's better than the pre-done packs you get. Right. Pre-done packs you get, it's weird. They always come with a little bit of spicy sauce or this or that to put in it. This could definitely benefit from some of that. Um, to my preference, what I would put in it is curry powder, that yellow curry powder. And I'm not going to put it in it. Everybody's going to flip out. You get all crazy on me, but Let's try it. even a little bit of <clears throat> that garam masala. But realistically, I think this is going to be, you want to try a little bit of that? This may be the resolve to the lack of flavor. It's not quite what it needs. It does give the spiciness though. Take it for what it is. It's not a bad kit. It needs some tweaking. It gives you the basis of all this, these crazy ingredients. We went to the store and tried to buy all this stuff at once. It costs quite a bit of money, actually. You won't be able to find it to start with. But that's it. We'll review this, this Bimpy Map dish as. Um, much better than the pouch. Not as good as if you had all fresh ingredients and it wasn't dried. That's my thoughts of it. Would you eat it again? He's shaking his head no. No, I wouldn't. I, wouldn't. I don't think it's that bad. I am near starving to death though. We waited not to eat lunch before this. I give it probably, I would say probably eight out of 10. It's worth giving it a shot, giving it a try. That's gonna be it for today's video guys. We'll put a link in the description of this bad boy. And you could try it if you want. It was $19, which is quite a lot. But, you know, it's something to try. That's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back in Monday with another video.